Okay, this is health food. 88% cocoa. You can get it 72% dark chocolate health food. Lowers blood pressure, keeps you healthy, makes you thin, and Wendy's going to tell us how it works. Pat, I got all kinds of chocolate delights over here. It sounds like wishful thinking, but a chocolate a day keeps the pounds away. But here's the good news. It's totally true, according to one doctor. Take a look. Everyone loves chocolate. It's often thought to be unhealthy, but new research shows that people who eat dark chocolate every day weigh less than those who don't. That's what Dr. Will Clower says. He's a nutritionist and neuroscientist who dispels the myth that dark chocolate is junk food. In Eat Chocolate, Lose Weight, Dr. Clower reveals his six-step plan based on this amazing health food. He'll teach you how to take the chocolate challenge so you can finally have your chocolate and eat it too. And Dr. Will Clower is here with us now. Will, welcome to the 700 Club. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure for me as well, for all of us. Well, you say there's a difference between chocolate and chocolate. With air quotes. <laughs> yes. Exactly. What do you mean by that? Well, chocolate is something that is solid dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. Real chocolate is. It was put on this earth for us. It's a real food. However, the fake stuff are things, inventions, the nougat, the caramel, the wafer, mm -hmm. the artificial stuff that people put into those confections are actually very bad for you. What about so, milk, our, our milk chocolate versus dark chocolate? Well, there's three rules you have to remember in this order. Ready? Darker is better. 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 <laughs> so, Pat's 83% so chocolate. Is yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> if you cut to the chase. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Now, you've done a study or followed a study where people ate dark chocolate and then some did not. What did you find? Well, in my day job, yeah. I provide wellness programs for corporations globally, okay. tens of thousands of people, and I have them incorporate chocolate into their diet. And what we find is that when you have real food, in control, mm -hmm. it controls how much you're hungry for at the plate. So you can eat all you want, you just want a, an amount that's healthy for you. Yeah. It also helps to control the amount that you're hungry for between meals, so you're not chronically snacking all the time. It doesn't eat at you, right? You're, mm -hmm. you're controlling consumption and using chocolate to do it. Well, speaking of consumption, we can't just sit around all day and eat, eat bonbons, <laughs> even if they are dark chocolate. What is the portion size that you recommend, doctor? Exactly, so when you have your chocolate, I want you to think about the rule of thumb, and the rule of thumb is the size of the end joint of okay. your thumb, which is approximately this big. Okay. Now, no. you look at this. I want to eat it. And you, <laughs> <laughs> you look at this and you think, that's not a bite, that's a nano nibble. Yeah. But this is actually a perfectly appropriate bite. Hmm. And when you have this, and you put it in your mouth and you let it work, don't yeah. chew it up, just let it go. Right. What ends up happening is there's a, a neural reflex. Dissolves. Yes, called sensory specific satiety. I knew it, it's a neural reflex, it makes you happy. Yeah, it makes you happy <laughs> and it turns off the craving for it. So, mm. Because everybody knows there's an on switch to eating chocolate, but they're not sure there's an off switch. Yeah. If you love your chocolate and you, you taste it and you let it work and you taste it more, the amount you're hungry for drops. Hmm. That's something that's just in there. Now what everybody wants to know is how in the world can you eat it and lose weight? The data are amazing. In addition to the new data in the last five years showing that it's good for blood pressure, yeah. for heart, for brain, for mind, it's also good for weight control. And what they found is that the people who eat it the most consistently are the ones who lose the most weight. It's not about volume. It's about being consistent, having those three or four every single day, mm. every single day. Now, I understand you can have this size eight times a day. Yes, and what You're I have eight you, serving. Sure, absolutely. And what I have you do is incorporate that into your meals. If you have this 30 minutes before you eat, okay. and then five minutes after, the uh, natural cocoa butter that's in there wow. helps control your hunger. So you get to have the chocolate but then it controls how much you're hungry for at the plate and between meals. But a lot of people say, you know, it's, they don't like dark chocolate, it's bitter, but it's, it's an acquired taste, right? Absolutely. Another neural reflex that can happen is that you can train your tastes. Hmm. And in Eat this Chocolate is 85%. Way, yes, absolutely. Okay, I'm going to try this because yeah. um, I do like dark chocolate, but yes. I, I usually don't do 85%. I usually do 70 Yeah. And you know what? We have this, this process mm. for comparing them. Is it good? There's some sweetness there. Yeah, there is. Mm -hmm. And the more you taste, the more you kind of get that. Mm -hmm. But if you chew, swallow, chew, swallow, chew, swallow, you don't get that. You have to 
taste it. Well, let's take a look. Okay, for okay. breakfast, we can yes. have a, what, a smoothie. What do you call this? This is a black strapping. It's got black strap mm. molasses in it, which is awesome for you. Mm. And cocoa. It's so thick. It looks amazing. Yeah. So if you choose cocoa, I want you to choose the natural unsweetened, and it goes right in there. Oh, my gosh. This is delicious. Are Isn't it eggs? amazing? Are there any eggs in there? It's so frothy. No, no. What makes it, it frothy? Uh, they whipped it up. Mm. <laughs> that mm. happens, right? I love this. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I could have that. Okay, I love this. I love beef stew. Yes. There's chocolate in this beef stew. Actually, you know what it is? It's the cocoa. Mm. Whenever you make anything savory, add cocoa. Mm. Because it's a great way to get all of those wonderful polyphenols for your heart. And it deepens the flavor of mm. this. It's oh my absolutely astounding. Mm. Well, we have more things, but they're, you'll have to get the book. Because <laughs> we are out of time and... This is my most delicious interview ever. Thank you. Um, the book, Eat Chocolate, Lose Weight, is in stores nationwide, and you can check it out and get a taste for yourself, Pat. It's amazing. Love it. I've got it right here in my hand. I'll break off a little piece, Wendy. And I might add, you know, you've got to make the difference between milk chocolate with a lot of sugar is not what we're talking about. We're talking about dark chocolate, high cocoa. Uh, the other sets up a craving. This satisfies.